to his mindset and does not get played around with. The man just shot Oak and Tracy just now. But to go back more on how he's a good villain, because all that is being shown, my point is still standing. Doomfist shows a lot of different opportunities to be a very vast villain of him getting connections with different villains in Overwatch, being a strategist for Talon. He's a great leader, as been shown as he's been in the top ranks of Talon. And most importantly, Doomfist doesn't back down from most, and him stand his ground when it comes to what his plan is. Wanting to start a wall and keep things going in his order, and he's been able to do that so far. You know, his connections and the plateau of things that he has planned, he is a marketing point for Overwatch. And in general, he is the main villain of Overwatch. It's been said, it's been shown, and most importantly, it's a good thing. Doomfist, great. I even gotta explain it. You already know why. Get your ass out of shit. You do not deserve to be there, my king. Reinhardt, I love you, bro. But Doomfist is taken. First place, great, always. Conflict and war is the crucible to which we evolve. What else do I have to say? Psychopathic intellectual greatness, all right? Dude's aspects are beyond the normal phrase for people. Dude's dope. I think he's one of the best characters in the game. able to fuck up Genji, he's able to run the hands of Winston, and he's arguably the most strongest character in this game, lore-wise, and even though Winston defeated him, Doomfist still arguably was a way better fighter than him, and was fucking him up, and only lost from the comics, and from what we see from the actual fight in the short, he was underestimating him, which doesn't mean that he didn't still lose, I'm just saying, Doomfist has said multiple times before, and has been shown that if he really was fighting fully, that Winston wouldn't defeat him. There's a lot of big days with Doomfist. Some ups and downs, some toxicity. Some people trying to tarnish the Doomfist names. But there's a lot of legends that came the way. From our boy, get cracked on. Legendary. Zebra, a peak troller. My man Brandito. Sarlo, a console Overwatch Doomfist player. In the other case, a different cool people playing Overwatch and repping Doomfist. A character that has brought me a lot of love, a lot of great knowledge, a lot of great coolness, and a lot of likeness to power scaling all around. A character that brought a lot of interest to a bunch of people. The main villain of Overwatch, a character that was stunning, Black All Might solidified. DPS Doomfist will always be known. He will never be forgotten. He will never be destroyed a legacy he put into play. Who remember this beast? And even though he's forgotten of a lot of things that make him a cool character in some senses, that legacy will never be tarnished. Never forgotten. We must be prepared for the new days to come. If in the victory arrives. Now for the case of Doomfist. Now this is where we're going to have to get into a rant. Look. The first one, solid, 10 out of 10, mixture of a war chief, a nab, a native African beast, coming together with modern day. What the fuck is this? I have a lot of opinions about the new fist. Tank fist is interesting. He's a brawler, not in the same state of feel like DPS Doom Fist. Life has a lot of ups and downs. Not everything will be the same. It's not supposed to. Things will change, and this new feel of Overwatch it will be interesting. I have a lot of hope for Overwatch 2, has a lot of potential. It could be one of the most banger games. And with the new rise of Doomfist mains, and possibly Doomfist to be having the potential to be the greatest of all, will come. I can't wait to see the legendaryness that comes from Doomfist, 
and all of the greater things to form from him and other things like that to be the main calling for what will make someone like Doomfist himself. Tank Fist can be a mix of DPS Doomfist, but never replace the gloriness that sparked from him. I hope you guys will enjoy the time and love I will put into this character. As even if he's not the same and half bit is neutered, as eventually I'll be showcasing my open thoughts raw about Doomfist Fist and how he's like as a character. I want y'all to know that I will never stop loving this character. I will never downgrade my love. Ain't nobody can hold me down when it comes down to the love of DPS Doomfist or Tank Fist. I want to say a very great thank you, like Zebra did, to all the Doomfist mains, all the Doomfist players, every person that has loved this character as much as I have. Loving a character that was accounted to be terrible and real comp, but still had a lot of fun to him and a lot of dope things to him. Remember the nab, the native African beast, the war chief, conflict and war, obliterating motherfuckers left and right, war being a reckon of what makes us strong. Akande Okundimu, the successor, Doomfist himself. On the real, I just want to say I appreciate everybody that's been here since day one of my peak talks about Doomfist and my last performances of him before he became Tank Fist. I hope you guys will enjoy the things to come, like I said before. And I hope it doesn't sound like I'm crying or I'm Madison because I just want to make this clear. I kind of almost lost my voice and I might, depending on the case how I go about things, because I just got back into the recording field because it's the same after my time and other things. I've been doing a lot, trying to make sure things are good, working, grinding, pushing P, you already know what I mean. Just doing stuff, and I was yelling a lot on my Mbaku shit. Also, who's hyped for Wakanda Forever? Tell me if you guys are in comments and whatever the case. Chat about that if you want. Tell me what you guys loved about DPS. Doomfist, some of you guys are excited. Tell me what you guys think. Like I said, I'm going to be giving my raw takes about him when the kid's time does come. I just want to go ahead and just make a few things clear before all that comes into play. With this being said, in this case, I just want to make that clear. With all that being said, I love you. I appreciate you guys for watching. I can't wait to go about it and say my for things. I love you. RIP DPS Doomfist. This is a very short video because, man, there's not much really going to say. I wanted to incorporate a montage, but it's not that much I feel like could have been done for real, for real, with everything being said because of how everything was like all around. So that's just why I didn't create something as long formatted as it needed to. And, again, I don't want to. I just wanted to go and let y'all know how I feel. I love y'all. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, mommy. Love y'all.